What's up everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Oscar and as I will be introducing myself also later now this is a place called Zimbudia oh my god <laughs> uh, English it's a place called Mbudia and in this place is somewhere you really want to visit though there's some restriction but you gotta enjoy it because nothing else is important now this is the place that I had to wait i'll be telling over the voiceover actually by the way if you didn't notice i'll be telling you how the process took place what did i do and i want to take you over in budia if you haven't known this is actually a place in the nearby city called dar es salaam in tanzania so if you're interested just let me know down in the comment section below and i will be letting you know on how you can also get over here but at the end of the video i'll also try to narrate to you on how you can get here now as you may see this is only the waiting place that I was waiting and there you can see it's uh, another island apart from Budia. I will also show you it is the first which is gonna be the first place that you're gonna meet on the way but you're also going to enjoy the beach as you can see it's a little bit far away I uh, hope you can see that but that's not the place we're gonna be going we're gonna be going somewhere else almost beside it now here is this guy he's gonna be the one taking me there and this is the place that also wait we actually spent almost like two to three minutes now then we go out of course those are my legs don't be surprised and those are the guys who are taking us now surprisingly i had only my shoes and there were some things on the floor which got me perplexed i uh, will show you around but you can see them i hope you can they are these little things there i think they're crabs I tried to ask, I never got an answer, but I think the crabs and they should not be scared because here we're going to be walking barefooted and the good news is that they don't bite unless you really want them to bite them to bite you, they will do that for you. <laughs> but I think they won't bite you. So right now as we're moving around, it's near the coast, it's called Dar es Salaam and this place also, it's good, like it's good time to take, like it is a good place now i'll show you around what is going to happen next we're gonna get the boat and then also some precautions that i want to tell you guys do not use in sorry do not use jangwani as i said do not use jangwani i'm not being racist or business something oriented no i'm just saying the truth because if you want cheaper price with the equivalent quality i think you should just use these guys and i'll let them I'll leave their contact on the on the description. <laughs> My English nowadays is so poor, but anyway, so we took this boat, and this boat has been a very good boat. Though we really got some really really bad experience somehow, but it was uh, adventure-wise, so it's not as bad as it sounds. And this it was a boat. It was just a normal boat. It wasn't something very big, and I had a lot of packages, so please forgive me. As you can see me here right now, here I have a lot of packages. That big package was not mine by the way. I was with these guys here and there were two couples and this guy, oh, they were good. They were just chilling and we were throwing the boat. For more prescription is that if you wanna use the boat, you need to be three people. So if you're one person, that means you have to pay 30,000. I'll try to look for the conversion of how much 30,000 is in US dollars. And so I can help you out. But then that was the guy, he had to push the boat all over the sea until he climbed up. Oh my god, <laughs> I thought he was gonna sink but he didn't. So the thing is that if you wanna use this boat, you'll need to be three people. And so that's why I had to wait over there. If you guys remember I told you I was waiting. So this is one of the boats. I don't know if Jangwani Seabreeze also uses the same kind of boats. But I think so because when at the end we were leaving I saw the same kind of boats that now I'm sorry to show you guys those guys are couples but I was alone, I was a single. I know some people ask me like, hey, why didn't you go with someone? I wonder so many people know this place that it's a luxury place, so people think that they go with couples and stuff, but no. I went alone. Those were couples but I was alone, sincerely. Sorry if there's any of offensive thing that I showed or anything extra, but I'm just trying to explain what the adventure was. So I hope I may influence you also coming to this place and enjoy the moment. But apart from that, let's enjoy the ride.
So you remember guys the one island that I told you about that you could see from far away? Yeah here it is. So you kinda have to pass by beside it before you get to the real island, the Mbudia island. So you, as you can see here, uh, it's kinda big. It's also kinda big but it's not as big as Mbudia according to the history written. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Finally, we have almost arrived at the island as you can see it from far away. There were some restrictions that were written on the other side of the island. Just because I wasn't able to see it, I didn't follow them. But that is another story to tell you today. <laughs> so let's continue. As you can see, there will be some people with some bikinis outside there. Most of them, they were actually white people, not black people. I do really think, do you think black people do really wear bikinis? I don't know, I've never seen, not I've never seen, I've seen rarely them doing so. See those two things there over there? Okay, you didn't see them, but I'll tell you that story later. So, there are some few people who really came today because it was not a weekend. And that was actually my plan, not coming this side on the weekend. Because it's going to be congested with other people. So, right now, we just got off. Ah, I didn't show you guys how we were getting off, it was really cumbersome. But as you may see right now we took off and I have so many luggages. I think I had three luggages. So yeah, here we go and we have to go to do some registration. And after the registration we will be moving around and doing checking around the environment. And I hope I may be able to show you around what you guys need. I know you guys are looking for B-roll, but today is B-roll. Uh, <laughs> can't say anything just keep watching and this is the place around it has really amazing has the one I don't know should I say fantasy should I say surprising is that okay those are the couples guys I've been talking about I'm sorry if just showing them out everywhere but I'm not saying so because I'm a single man I'm just saying you need to come as a pair so back to the point is that you see those hearts over there yeah, you will have to pay or buy food before you get yourself sitting. I don't know, I'm using the phone right now to record, so if my sound is not done very well, I don't know. But I hope everything goes well. Someone call me back? No, I don't So, oh, my tongue is being shit. My tongue. I went to the washroom and play some drones. What's up guys, my name is Oskarana and another video. It has been a very very big long time since when I was up on the video man. But anyway, so as you may see, I know you're surprised. This is a place called uh, Mbudia, it's in Tanzania. And it's a very good place. Uh, it takes a while to come here but uh, if you want to plan to come here, you really need a lot of stuff. So like not really much but at least you should prepare because you are going to need food and uh, what says? fresh so you need to be knowing Swahili for somehow because if you don't know at least you need to greet and I'm a Tanzanian by the way if you didn't know so today's video is going to be about me coming to this video to this place I should say uh, it takes like a while to move from my place until this place here it is almost like a uh like i think it's almost like how many how many minutes it's hours freak shit it's hours like from my place until the stand and then from the stand taking another bus it's like three three buses that i have to take and then one mo two buses and one motorcycle which is actually almost like three hours it's not bad but actually it's a good thing because when you travel around and get to know people Looks like we have a lot of visitors right here. But you know, moving around, there's one thing that I actually wanted to say. The main point why I actually even came to this place is because uh, yesterday was my birthday. I'm not gonna say exactly the exact date, but yesterday it was my birthday, so I thought, why not come in a place? Because I think, I don't know, this is the big question I ask myself like, how do you celebrate a lonely birthday? I've been asking so many people, how do you celebrate a lonely birthday? But nobody has specifically come with the exactly answer but what I would say is that uh, 
maybe there are a lot of things that you can do alone or what should I say uh, while you're not around people because that's when you can like literally understand who you are who you really are so right now as I'm speaking I'm here at the place is called Mbodia and if you want to come here I'm gonna leave some direction uh, at the end I'll tell you how you can get here but it's a good place and you have to like use a boat it's far away you can see like if you can see I'll try to throw some drones if it's possible then I'll show you around the place but right now as I can tell you is that uh, there's some important things that you need to really come with because if you don't come with them that means no the food here it's so expensive sincerely I've not even going to ask but I know it's expensive people told me even before I came here they told me it's expensive but I do have a plan of uh, going to ask at least to get the idea of how much prices things so there like how much things how much you say how much things are sold right here my poor English I haven't been practicing it but I won't forget it anyway so right now as I'm saying right now as you can see it's not congested people because it's not a weekend but if you come during the weekend it's gonna be like congested with a lot of people so the best thing is to just come during the day that people are not there if you come here a lot of people are gonna be around and it's not gonna be a good idea because you don't want to vlog <laughs> I remember one of the YouTubers say like if you vlog in public it's like going to pull in a <laughs> sorry going to pull in a public toilet which is literally crazy like how would you do that of course you can get some emergencies and you could do that but oh that's shit anyway this place is here if you would ask me this place is not filled with uh, a lot of people when it's not weekend and it's a good thing because you can literally relax and do what you want to do like do whatever you want to do and if the sound is not that much clear I'll do my best to try to keep some, some, some subtitles if it's possible and you can read them out so right now okay I, I know what you want some real laurels of this place so I'll do my best to show you around what exactly is this place and maybe you can walk around and um, talk to some people if they will be actually accepting to like say something like how did they know even this place like how do they see this place try to communicate to people if I if they'll accept if they won't accept then ah uh, then it's okay you can never force anyone so because it's gonna be a vlog about me it's not about people anyway so I'm gonna show you around and uh, yeah let's get into it a few minutes later so another thing that I forgot to tell you guys is that when you come here you should come with things like food and uh, if you can come as a couple it's a good thing because you know what happens when you are actually a single man or a single lady and you see some goodies huh? you know what I mean not goodies as goodies as food or good products it's so painful somehow when you come here and you meet some couples you know what I mean and you understand what right so you're gonna find a lot so if you can really come as a pair it's a good thing I'm gonna try to move around and I'm gonna see what I will notice around when I walk around whatsoever thing then if I find anything important I'll just let you know and if there is anything that I think that is not that much important I'll just cut it off because this video I wanna make it as best as I can this is actually the not the first video I'm making in Tanzania it's um, kinda like it's not even in, it's in, almost in top 10 so there's still fresh videos for Tanzania so literally right now I think I should just eat and uh, then from eating we should move around what do you think oh we should just go swim then come eat I don't know should I eat swim man I don't know but I'm hungry what's the time what's the okay it's the time what's the time I'm having watch by the way it's uh what it's 2020 that means it's around four or five I think we should eat then I'll show you also my meal and then I got this meal and then I got this meal from the other side I, I didn't buy it here so after I finish I'll eat just a little bit because I don't want to finish my food I want to eat a little bit then wash my hands then from there we went ask for the meal then from there we finish other things stuff oh my god my grandma is so poor oh my god oh my grandma is so poor oh who cares but I really have to practice my English and my Chinese is also it's also dying somehow anyway that doesn't matter anyway let's just open the food right who knows what's coming
Yo, we are back again. So I had to go to the swim and not swimming because I'm not really good in swimming. So even one day you hear I have sunk in water, <laughs> you should not be surprised. Just say, God will bless him. So right now I just came from playing with water. <laughs> I didn't take showers, so I just had to play with water. I didn't swim. I mean. So here are my plug here are my luggages, and I think that's all i had like my shoes and my bag i was just checking by if they are really corresponding to the number of things i came with because sometimes you never know who's gonna be behind you looking at your goodies yeah and this side is where i came from from the swimming let's go back and see maybe we can kind of check something silly or i don't know what should i say something better to just show people around and something that i noticed when i was actually in the boat is that the water has different color from okay uh, the water has different color from the water on the other side so this side it's uh, more of less pale blue on the other side which is actually more of bluish though some people say the water on this side it's more clean than the water on the other side i didn't really see that different but i think there was a difference because i tried to notice it in taking two pictures and seeing the similarities and differences i really found out there were some little differences but not much of a difference but in this side for real you could see that the water is clean with cleanness i accept it like the water is not dusty as the water compared on the other side like it's really clean but it's salty so you can't even drink it i remember when i was in the water as uh, i should say well, the water entered into my eyes oh my god i was pissed off because oh you know when the salt water enters into your eyes and a lot of physics happening into your eyes and you end up crying but anyway that was just part of the story that i'm about to tell you more of the story is yet to come so stay tuned and a little of bad news i wanted to tell you is that as you may see we actually got caught with the drone and oh should i say they told us not to drive drones and actually even here they told me to go and see these certain marks that they were or should i say the places where they write some precautions and you shouldn't go shouldn't do so i came and i'd check them Right now I'm using my phone and uh, it has low charger. This trip has been very well good but there's one problem. They don't allow cameras and drones right here. So the first footage I recorded using a camera is going to be a good idea but the other ones I'll be using my phone and no more drones footage. The trip has been destroyed because no more drones so what is next is just eating and yeah. I think we just eat and relax. Let's go and take a shower with the over there the water and that's all we can do for now nothing else and the day is over but this is not fair <laughs> Tanzanians why do we have to make so complicated things like in the world even in your own country to drive drone why I used to drive drones in China and they didn't even ask me why why is that happening if you have any idea share me because I'm literally not understanding this but i hope everything maybe one day it will be changed and we'll be able to fly drones like in zanzibar bagamo if you fly a drone they're gonna catch you and you know for, like they'll be no good for you so until then let's go and take a shower and see what we can do with the water nothing else plus eating as my food is just right there these are the things that i came with and this is me right now Oh my god, I've washed my hand and I've just that fight. I'm gonna have my meal. You know, don't smile, but I think that's the best I could afford. Let's watch it. Oh, 
Okay. Plus water. Plus. Drink. Eating time. So, I'm gonna come here. Don't forget your meal from the other side. Chicken. I'm gonna show you very well right now, as you can see. Chicken and uh, fries. So, if you really wanna come and enjoy, buy your own fries from your local places because here it's gonna be expensive i haven't asked how much but i'll ask so as i let you know in case if you can afford it they don't have to steal the food i'm sorry i'm talking with the mouse and food but don't forget to pray and enjoy the place the place is good if you want to relax and uh, that's what i can tell you so yeah I don't know if you can see me, but <laughs> the chicken that I bought is awesome. It's so good and delicious. While I'm eating. Uh, so when I arrived here, it was very good we paid and then um, they asked us, they didn't ask for ID so if you are a Tanzanian and you can <coughs> you happen to come here, you forgot your ID but just tell them that you're a student. They will understand that you're a student. I am a student. Thank God they understood. And they, they wouldn't have understood. I had my ID my wallet so it wasn't a bad idea but this place is cool it's enjoyment they bought itself like it was awesome one thing that i was discouraged as i said before not being able to record with the camera for real i don't know why the rules are rules sometimes you have to break them in. So what I was saying is You're welcome I'm out of words, I am hungry Like Really hungry And the best thing I would say Enjoy <laughs> And see you after my meal Something else I forgot to say is Sorry Something else I forgot to say is um, I might also go back to swim after I finish eating. So I was thinking, should I leave some food or just finish it? Maybe we should just finish it. And um, maybe make some new friends. Making new friends is not a real idea. <laughs> but I made some new friends. But we haven't even exchanged contacts. Contacts. Because they are couple so but if you can just do it. Right here is you are wrong like me. You might get distracted so much. Like really distracted.
and when it gets distracted for you, never focus on what you want to do. My focus was to just come around and refresh. Remember, you said, as I said, it was my birthday, so. And I was in the hospital for the whole night until the next day. <laughs> Something funny that happened yesterday is I was writing some details for the patient. And by the way, if I tell you that something funny is uh, there's another video that I'll be making about. I don't know if it's gonna be out right now at the moment I'm posting this one, but I'll make another video. The daily routine. That actually what happens? What do I do in the morning? The one that I'll be showing you exactly on the way we like go to the hospital. I won't show exactly. So for those ones who are actually looking for something extra out of that, so please, sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll just just give an overview of what exactly we do in the hospital and yeah, try to do my best on this. I'm working on that video, so maybe it will be out sooner or later. If it has been out before this video, go and check it out on my channel. So what I was saying is that oh that I'm off topic right now and I even don't remember what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, it was my birthday and I was in the hospital for the whole night. We didn't have electricity sometimes in the night and we had so many admissions, like five of them. Okay, some people may say it's small or some people say it's much. It doesn't matter, but according to me, it's much. And we were only two. And it's, it's much, sincerely. Five admissions. For those people who don't have admissions, it's the people that Go to, like uh, in case of a patient who comes around and uh, have a problem that they have to stay in the hospital for a while, then they'll go home later after some uh, days. That's what we call admission. But let's cut off that topic right now. I want to talk about this place here. The place is good, and um, on the other side, I don't know why people don't go there on the other side. But I'll be trying to show you exactly <laughs> with what I mean by the other side. So as we may all be talking one language right now. Because I know some people are saying, oh look at this guy, he's just right now eating. And he's speaking, he's not having manners. Hey. I have manners. And if you think I don't have manners, learn your own manners. Because right now, it's time to share some ideas. I'm telling you this right now. If you are here single, man, you will suffer. Mm. Did I just eat a bone? Mm. You should come here. Buy a lot of food. If you are eating like me, because mm. if you don't, you won't enjoy. I just wanted to buy something small, but somebody told me just buy. And they bought. And then I bought. A bone is passing. On my previous trip. So when I bought um, food, sorry, before I bought, before I wanted to come here, sorry, let's rewind. Before I wanted to come here, I had to ask some people about this place. Now before I tell you the story, let me finish playing first. The food is almost over. You can check it out. The food is almost over. What the hell? I've just eaten all of it. Where is it? Oh my god. Damn, I'm so fast. Before I came here to call Sydney Peace Club Yangwani and ask them exactly what I. So I had to ask them like, how much does it cost? From this place here and they said it was 26,000 
Tanzanian shillings and I'll convert it for you in US dollars which was quite expensive now that was actually a total price they didn't tell me that they're gonna be ex they're gonna be an entrance fee here but I said no I'm a Tanzanian I'm gonna go there because this course literally don't work that way now if you also want to come here the big advice as I told you I'll tell you is this uh, first don't call and ask because Gangwani's price is high Landmark's price, I'm sure it's going to be the same. Oh my god, sorry. So the best option, I was fixing something. So the best thing you can do right now is, uh, you could come, then there's a place. I don't know, I've forgotten the name, but I'm going to keep right here. That place, if you come and you literally ask them, uh, how, to, how much to come this side? It's only 10,000 uh, for a Tanzanian person, for one head, for one person, I mean, like 10,000. The money is for coming back and for going home. Now, that's not the interest fee. So, if it's 10,000, that means that is the only the boat fee. The interest fee is 6,000 for a student like me. Maybe later I come back here and I'm not a student, I'm paying 12,000, which is actually not 12,000, it's actually 11.8 something, 11.8. Tanzanian thousand, thousand. Tanzanian thousand shillings, but if it's for students, it's 5,900. I'm gonna keep somewhere here so as you can see. But the main idea is that if you come here, don't go to Landmark and ask. I'm sorry, Landmark, if I'm trying to throw clients away from you, but that's the truth. How, why should they literally use you guys? You're gonna pay it's so much money in Jangwani, I'm not sure, but Landmark. But in the other side, just beside, you literally pay only 10,000. So sincerely, don't waste your money on Jangwani, that place. To, to use them to come here, if you use them, you're gonna spend a lot of money. So it's, it's twice the price. But if you use the other guys, I'm gonna leave the contact or somewhere link, somewhere on the description or somewhere. Here. So use them; they're gonna help you to reach this place in a cheaper price. And here, for foreigners, I'm gonna leave the prices here. It's quite expensive, a little bit, but for for those people who actually here. here Good for Tanzanians, and they have separated like East Africans and whatsoever, and kind of classes like that. So, if you are an East African, you're on the same side. Uh, right now, I want to finish my food. And what am I looking? I'm just looking on the other side if someone is watching. I just want to finish my food. And thank you guys a lot. I uh, hope you guys will enjoy this video. Oh, and till then, let's just stay around and watch the environment. I'll show you around, show you some mushrooms out there. Nobody wants to see the mushroom, I'm not gonna show you that. I was just kidding, so I'll just show you around the water and that's all for today guys and I really enjoyed this trip as I said it's the trip that was the day after my birthday though it might be posted days after the day that I actually recorded so it's not gonna be the same day but the day I was recording was the day after my birthday so yesterday I didn't do anything as I say so today is the day just do something for myself and relax and understand what is happening A few moments later Right now I have finished eating as I'm seeing right now I have finished eating and I have finished I have cleaned it's sweat so much ah, I'm not waiting to go back but uh, I should say that I'm going back to the water and play Did I finish my soda? No, I'm just gonna finish it anyway and I should just go and play with these dirty hands the water. Maybe they have so to help me out to push this. But as right now I'm satisfied and I wanna see the water I can offer and the day is over. <laughs> anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, this is the ending part of this video because my battery is about to get over. And thank you so much for joining in. Thank you, thank you so much because I hope you have enjoyed and if you wanna come to this place as I said, do not use Yangwani in the other place. It's expensive, use the guys that I'll be telling you right now. It's almost half the price. It's half the price. So, see you on the next video. A few minutes later. So right now, as you can see, I've just been dressing up. The time is over, and uh, as you may know, 
I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and everyone is kinda yeah, everyone is like living everyone. Those guys I came with, they decided to leave me on war They didn't tell me that they're leaving. Though they haven't left because the boat hasn't arrived yet. So I'll catch them, them up. Somewhere, somewhere. But as I told you. And this is an addition of parts. Make sure you come with a couple. Because you don't want to spend your time alone like I did. It's not good. Not that it's not possible, it's possible, but I feel some lonely moments. And the lonely moments are not good at all. As you can see, everyone is living. Yeah, everyone is about to go. Yep.